Matt LaFleur revealing that Jordan Love will start and take the majority of snaps in Green Bay's opening preseason game against the Texans. He also said Aaron Rodgers is unlikely to play during the preseason at all, which is fine. And what it means is that we should expect to see a whole lot of Jordan Love. Again, as you see on the screen here, this is not a surprise. We've barely seen Aaron Rodgers play in the preseason in any of the last four years. So this is, generally speaking, their M.O. But it is probably more interesting than at any other time. Mike Tannenbaum, pick it up from there. You, you were the one who raised it initially. Watching Jordan Love, his performance, how could it impact what the future looks like in Green Bay? This is a playoff game for Jordan Love. This is about his future and the Packers' strategy. Ironically, when we traded for Brett Favre back in 2008, Greeny, they were dealing from a position of strength because they felt like, hey, Brett Favre is going to leave. But we got this guy, ironically, Aaron Rodgers, who has played well in the preseason, former first-round pick. The Packers' strategy will be hugely impacted by the next three weeks. If Jordan Love plays well, they trade up for him in the first round, then they could deal from a position of strength and move on from Aaron Rodgers. If he doesn't, this will make them panic. They'll have to do even more to keep Aaron Rodgers. And that's why it's a playoff mindset for how Jordan Love plays over the next three weeks. Now, Tim Hasselbeck, let, let, let's pick up the thought there as a quarterback because mm -hmm. uh, Love, for whatever this is worth, he, he got all the reps during the, the, the voluntary mini mm -hmm. camps and all the reps during the mandatory mini camps that Rodgers uncharacteristically sat out. And now he will get this work. How is it, how important is it in your mind that he play well based upon what you will project going forward? Well, it's extremely important. Listen, th these games don't count. But they matter, and they specifically matter for individuals, guys, uh, you know, that play quarterback. Look, you go way back to Green Bay. My brother was Brett Favre's backup. He eventually gets traded to the Seattle Seahawks to be a starter. He had only thrown 29 regular season passes at that point. Everything he had done was in the preseason. So it does matter in terms of how you are evaluating your quarterbacks and how you project for them to play in regular season games and beyond for your team. So, look, I, I think that... Jordan Love should play well because of the work you referenced in the offseason, because he's had a year under his belt there. And, you know, I would expect to see some type of refinement. He was a bit of a raw uh, player coming out of, of college. And so I think that, you know, we should see a little bit more refined Jordan Love playing quarterback. That's why I do think it should be interesting to see, like Mike Tanbaum was talking about. What do you want to see here, Sacho? I want to see Jordan Love shine. I want to see him ball out. Like Mike T said, this is a playoff game. This is the playoffs that lead to the Super Bowl for Jordan Love. If Jordan Love plays well, this could be the beginning of the end for Aaron Rodgers. It was supposed to be last year, then all of a sudden Aaron Rodgers went and had an MVP season, 48 passing touchdowns, four rushing touchdowns. He was the best player in the world last year. But I want Jordan Love to be great. I want him to shine, and obviously, like, you know, like we always talk about, these games don't really count, but we, they do matter. They matter a lot for Jordan Love, for his stock, for Green Bay, for Green Bay's future, and also for what happens with, with Aaron Rodgers. It, it feels important, right, Kmart, as, as we yeah. sit here and we, we watch this, and it feels like on some level the entire league will be influenced by this, whether it's about Rodgers' future or Love's future, hmm. which, of course, are intertwined. Everybody wants to see Jordan Love be great. He does not have to be great preseason week one. What I want to see are just the flashes of that remind fans why Green Bay would even m draft this kid in the first round when they have an Aaron Rodgers. If you look up his stat sheet, Jordan Love, there's nothing there mm. because he hasn't played. So as much as this is, I understand he needs to play well, but within reason. This is a kid who has not played in a game. So yeah, show me some flashes. Remind us why all this hoopla over Aaron Rodgers is even an issue because they saw something in you, so play like it. I think it's important to remind everyone there was no preseason last year. That, so those unique circumstances, uh, he didn't get any work, literally any work. L last year was uh, a redshirt season in the truest possible sense, and so now we will get our first glimpse, everyone will get their first glimpse of him in action, and maybe, just maybe, it will make a difference in the future of the Green Bay Packers. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.